downloading and uploading PDF files. Here's a PDF file that we want to download, so we're going to tap that file. I'm in my Moodle course down to training day two, so I'm going to tap analogies. We want to open in notability. Your list may have looked different than mine depending upon the apps on your device. We want to create a new note and tap OK. This is a worksheet that we could be doing in class. I can use two fingers to move up and down the page. And if I want to type on it, I'll use this icon here. But I can also use the next icon over to write on it. The third icon would be to um, highlight something, the fourth to erase, and the fifth to cut or to move something. So I'm going to press the pencil. Now writing in the small blanks provided may be difficult for some of us. So I'm going to tap this icon right here, the uh, magnifying glass, and notice what happens. We have a box on our page and we have a large highlighted area at the bottom. As I move the box around, notice that wherever the box moves to, that's highlighted in this bottom area here. So I'm going to move the box to where I want to write my name. And now in the space at the bottom, I should be able to write my name. So I'm going to just simply use my finger, write in my name. Now I want you to notice that once I get to writing in the green area, as soon as I pick up my finger, the box moves over. So you could use this process to make uh, annotations on this paper and then turn it back in to your teacher. I can move the box around and I can type as much as I want to or write on there. I could type also. Typing is not as easy and intuitive to do in this app in my opinion. Now that we've finished with our worksheet, we need to be able to turn it in. So we press the action bar at the top. Press, uh, depending upon what yours says, uh, uh, it, if it doesn't say open in right here under choose destina destination, we need to change that. When you tap open in, you're given a, a list of things that you can do. We want to open in and then press the blue open in, open note in action button. We're trying to get it to our Moodle, so we tap Moodle. And now this page has been brought over to our Moodle app. We need to upload it so that the teacher can grade it now. So I'm going to tap this one time and press done. And where do we upload it? If you notice right here under analogies, there's a little hand like they're holding a piece of paper to turn in. That's how we turn things in within our Moodle. So we tap there. Once we tap there, we're told, uh, asked, told the due date when we can turn it in and we haven't submitted anything yet. So we tap Upload Files. And now if you're on a PC, you would just drag your files right here and hit Save Changes. It's not as easy on the iPad. We press Upload File. And now we're asked, what do we want to upload? We want to add a file, upload a file, choose from documents. Since we sent it over here, it was sent to our inbox. And this list will grow over time with all of your files here. Uh, if you have several with the same name, you can look for a, the correct date on here uh, and hopefully find it. Um, we have this one right here. Uh, that looks like it was the last one that we did, so we're going to select it. And now it's actually uploading that file to our Moodle website. So it may take longer than sometimes depending upon the network traffic or the size of the file. And now we tap Save. And notice we're told to sa tap Save Changes to complete. So when we tap Save Changes here, now we're told we have submitted a file for the teacher to grade. If we come back later, we can edit that file by deleting it and adding another file. Or we can simply sit, hit Send for Marking. Send for Marking is not required. If we do that, that simply closes the submission so that the student cannot, uh, as a student, I cannot make any changes to it in the future. But the teacher can grade it once you have submitted it, even if it's in draft mode.